Good evening, everybody. I'm um, going to try to do another quick video here. Uh, tonight we're going to be smoking a beautiful Gurkha Titan. Um, this is in a 6x60. And I also wanted to try this. I haven't used one of these since uh, I was in the Middle East, but these are these wonderful uh, Vector tri pump uh, tabletop lighters. They're, they have obviously a huge tank. They last forever. Um, it's all, you know, hard metal. Um, I guess, I'm assuming it's some sort of steel, uh, but it's a high quality, uh, uh, great lighter. Little punch Calibri cutter. I'm gonna dive right in. I don't want to be too redundant, but you really just want to cut off pretty much just the end cap. Give yourself a little. Yeah, it's going to be a great draw. Looking forward to smoking this cigar. I haven't had one in quite some time. The Titan by Gurkha. They, I think they were quite hard to find for a while. Um, and I know a lot of people have very. Uh, People either love Gurkhas or they uh, hate them. I am in the camp uh, that I love them. I find them to be uh, delicious, absolutely delicious cigars. Um, I know we spoke about this briefly in the last video, but you have a lot of people who complain about the construction uh, of the cigar um, and again I go back to there's a much higher probability that there is more to do with an issue of the storage and aging of the cigar than the actual construction um, I, I don't recall ever having a Gurkha um, where the integrity of the cigar the structure of the cigar uh, was uh, questionable. They've always been fantastic. Um, I'm a huge fan of the product. Um, and the Titan is a very, I like my cigars like a darker Maduro, uh, more on the uh, uh, full end of the spectrum as far as the medium body or mild. I like more of a full body uh, type cigar. And this is always a delicious, delicious uh, cigar. In fact, <coughs> excuse me, um, my uh, friend, I may have mentioned before, he was smoking uh, my father, so that's his favorite cigar. Um, and, but he was paying, you know, $200 a box. So it gets a little aggressive, $10 a cigar. Um, I gave him one of my Gurkha Legend 2001. That's a vintage um, cigar, and also in an XO and a 6x60. And he flat out said that uh, he liked it better than his my father's, so um, you just have to be open-minded. Uh, he had one of mine, and again, not to you know say that I have somehow have the uh, the uh, formula to it, but I do do what I believe to be a very good job of aging and storing my cigars. I think uh, the next video that I do will be a uh, I don't like to call it a tour because in my mind if you take a if you can take an entire tour by looking up down side to side um, that's really not, not much of a tour that's more of a you know a viewing um, of my wine door a tour is something I want to be able to walk around and you know touch things and I've seen some beautiful walk-in humidors um, that you take a tour of a proper tour but my wine door is a 32 bottle I think it was a 32 bottle wine refrigerator that was converted into a humidor so it's temperature controlled and um, uh, I have a cigar oasis uh, humidification device that um, maintains it at a perfect 70% uh, humidity and I keep it at, I think the wine door the only not downside to it but uh, the only thing that I would like to see slightly different is uh, I think the maximum temperature on the wine door will only go to 66 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and I want to be closer to you know 68 to 70 
Um, but again, the cigars that are stored in my winador are always structurally perfect. Um, I never get cherries, uh, uneven burns. Um, I've just never had any issues with them. So next time I'll, I'll do a kind of viewing of my winador, kind of show you a little bit of my assortment of cigars, um, lots of Romeo and Julietas, lots of La Glorias, uh, lots of uh, Gurkhas. Um, what else do I have in there that's uh, of note or interest? Um, those are probably my three favorite go-tos. Um, but I'm going to smoke this down a little bit more, pour myself a drink. I think tonight I'm going to drink some Angel's Envy bourbon. Um, and We'll be back. Okay, welcome back. Scars burning nicely. Um, got my Angel's Envy. It's a wonderful bourbon. Again, I highly recommend it. I'm just finishing off the last bottle that I had, so cheers. Very smooth, just very, very tasty. Pairs beautifully with any cigar. Um, one of the things I was um, thinking about wanting to talk about was kind of more about um, in the last video we talked a little bit about the you know cigar, the ritual, um, the idea of know sitting down and smoking for an hour two hours and just breathing and relaxing and kind of you know getting uh, enjoying some quiet time with like-minded people and uh, it's a great um, it's a great time to me I, I enjoy it very much um, but one of the things I was thinking about was in the whole process of the the sitting and smoking there is a certain um, etiquette um, without sounding like a like a dick but you know if you're purposing to go s sit somewhere and smoke um, I always bring more cigars than I'm going to smoke because I like to either share them uh, with people if they want to try something new a lot of times we uh, trade you'll say oh you want to try these I'll, I'll, I'll give you this and and they, you know, typically will offer one in return. Um, but it's just kind of a nice camaraderie type of thing. Um, and I always travel. Um, this is the one of the many cases that I have, the travel cases. But like I mentioned in the last video, this is a, I believe it's a 15-stick uh, Herfador. Um, and I throw, I've got, I don't know, Bunch of cigars. I've got a Gurkha Beast, a Romeo and Julieta Medianoche, a Gurkha Crest Solomon. Um, this was one that was someone who gave it to me uh, just the other day. Uh, Hatui Special Reserve. Never had one before, but certainly looking forward to smoking it, seeing uh, what that's like. Um, and this is a, a very uh, well-kept secret. Uh, this is called a Reposado. Um, these are not expensive at all. They come in a box of 30. And again, these are the Maduros. Um, and I think in a box of 30, I've gotten them as cheap as $60 for a box of 30. So that's $2 a cigar. And this is a, I promise you, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cigar. Um, what else do I have inside my case? I have my, whoop, my cutter. I've got a couple lighters. I also have a punch. Um, and then some form of humidification um, so that they stay fresh. Um, one of the other things I wanted to touch on was when we were talking about uh, cigars in my winador. Um, 
I do buy a lot of my cigars uh, online. Uh, so that being said, when I receive them, they will spend minimum of one month in my winador, which again is temperature controlled, um, before I'd even consider smoking one. I don't know how long they've been sitting in a warehouse or in a, in a, I don't know what kind of condition they were. I don't want to assume anything. So I want to know that I know that I know that they're going to be of great conditioning. Uh, and the only way I know that for sure is if I do it myself. So therefore I put them in there for a minimum of a month. Um, this has been in my wine door for probably I don't know, three months. Um, and again, it's, it's burning delightfully. Um, I wouldn't smoke anything without it being in there for at least a month. Um, and I think that's probably a pretty good rule of thumb. Um, so just keep that in mind as far as uh, when you buy cigars or order cigars, um, you should plan on not smoking them right away. Um, unless you're in a, a brick and mortar cigar store and you bought it inside a walk-in humidor so you know that it's been um, cared for the way that uh, they should be then of course you can smoke away but if you're buying them online if you're buying them um, uh, and you're and you're not certain of how long they've been uh, aged or cared for or their conditions I would not consider smoking it until it's been in for uh, one month So, cheers.